I go out, I, I risk my life, and I, as much as I like the alone time out there, I can't wait to get back and see my family. We're making fish with crispy skin. We're in Kihei, Maui, hanging out with Chef Justin Kanteri. How's it, guys? Aloha. And what are they? These guys are called ukus. They're uh, gray snappers. One of the best sashimis, but you know, I'm gonna prepare them how I want to today. I'm gonna learn all kinds of great stuff today, and so are you, so hang out! For some of you guys, and me included big time, I am intimidated by the fish. If it's not packaged up and ready and sliced up and diced for me to start cooking, I have no clue what I'm doing. The good news is we got Chef Justin here who went out and caught his fish, scaled his fish already. I know everybody has their own way, but this is just how I do it. This is how I've been doing it, and I'm only trying to get better at it. Oh, you showed me this print that you made up on your wall from... It's the first fish I landed on my kayak. It's it's my first pelagic also. It's It was a 18 pound mahi-mahi and man, that thing put up, a, put up a good fight. So we're gonna make a print out of what you we're got? Make a quick print. I use non-toxic paint and you know, you get it on the skin, a you know, quick mommy rub right uh -huh. on top and then that's it. We have memories that will last forever. And so I'm gonna start with doing some slits. So I'm gonna go right behind this fin right here. Go all the way down to the center bone, flip it over, do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm gonna get right at the edge of the tail, right to the bone. Other side too, same thing. The spine runs right down the middle of this this fin right here, so I'm gonna just kind of break break the skin first, not really doing a cut. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna poke my knife right down the center center bone and. You could feel it right here. And when you when you feel your knife hitting a little edge, that's where that's where you want your knife to be. And you're just gonna do one clean cut. Do a little slit. And then we're just gonna go follow along those bones. And then there's a rib cage. It comes along the edge of the fish, so you're just gonna run your knife down that part right there. Sweet. You're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Yeah, it looks like you've done it before. I ended up catching two of these guys, so I'm gonna do one sashimi style, and then the other one I'm gonna do the crispy skin. Um, I do a little slit, kind of as close as the edge as I can. Uh huh. So and just till you get to the skin, and then this little tab right here. Yeah. Edge of my blade, right at the edge of the skin, and I'm just gonna tug and pull. Tug and pull. Yeah, this comes right off the skin. Probably helps to have a sharp knife. Yes. Oh, that's easy. Just like that. You make it look so easy, Justin. So, and when I fry these these skins up, what I like to do is hold the skin down first, because mm. skin the skin tends to curl up right when it touches the heat. Sure, and right. So here in Hawaii, a lot of the plate lunches that you find is gonna come with cabbage at the bottom, and you get all the sauces that drip down. Mm all the juices. I'm just gonna use half of this cabbage. How long have you been cooking, man? Since I got out of high school, but I didn't really get really serious into it until I started cooking at a, a good restaurant. When you're done cooking and you know all the pressure is off and then all you do is just soak, soak it all in, you know, and you got compliments coming yeah. left and right. I love that. Yeah. So I'm getting my cabbage and I'm putting it in ice water. Ice water, okay. Ice water crisp shocks. Crisp it up. Yep, crisp it up. What's the dish that you want to teach your kids? Because you've got some little ones here, right? One is six years old. Six. She just turned six. Just turned six. Yes. And then the other, my the other, other daughter, daughter is eight, eight, months? eight months old. Eight months yes. old. Mm -hmm. One of the main dishes I would love for them to cook for me when I get older is, is chicken katsu curry. Ooh. I could never turn that down. I like to add onions to my my cabbage mix. More crunch, more flavor, mm -hmm. a thin julienne. Okay. That's about it. Growing up learning how to cook, who was your influence in your family that uh, got you hooked? My dad. Um, he's cooked for everybody. Every time people come over to our house, every time there's get-togethers, parties, no matter what, I always told myself, like, damn, man, I would love to be able to cook like my dad one day. So what, what does Ohana mean to you? Like they say, Ohana means family, nobody gets left behind. Being able to get the family together with something that you put so much thought into, you know, like kayak fishing. I, I go out, I, 
I risked my life and I, I risked not seeing my family again and you know like as much as I like the alone time out there I can't wait to get back onto land and see my family and tell them what I, the experiences I went through out there and and always this, the best thing about it is catching a fish and cooking it there's always a story behind it how'd you catch it or you yeah, know, did right? they put up a good how fight long did it take how long you? did it take and right. let's put this on the side and then we're gonna get started on our dried ikalomi salad dried squid lomi means to massage all your ingredients, you're massaging your salad together, lomi salad. One onion, I got a, about a quart of cherry tomatoes that I cut in half earlier, and then I got about a quart of dried ika. I got two bunches of green onions here. Wow, look here. at the size of those guys. Cut that off. Sure. I know that you're fortunate enough, though, to be able to hang out with some pretty amazing Chefs. I work under Chef Sheldon Simeon, one of the best chefs in Hawaii, one of the best chefs that I know actually, and took me under his wings, not afraid to show me some secrets. That's here and there. great. <laughs> Trying to get some julienned onions in there too. Okay. I just used a half an onion on that one. Throw it in the bowl. So how did you how did you meet your wife? <laughs> I met my wife in the water, actually. Wow. Um, you'd always just cross paths somehow, and yeah, surfing pretty much brought us together. Gonna do a quick vinaigrette for okay. this, super simple. Got some patisse, oil, some... and some apple cider vinegar. I, to be honest, would have never really thought of yeah. putting fish sauce in my vinaigrette as well. See, fishy, I'm learning something again. Fishy family over here. The vinegar and the oil, I like to do equal parts. Okay. And then the patisse, I do half of what I did with the oil and the, the apple cider vinegar. Okay. Give it a um, little shake. I'm gonna go ahead and dress it. Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah, you can smell that. Oh yeah. And Jason, since you're just standing there. Yeah, that's all I do. You can help me out with you that. You want me to mix this up? <laughs> yeah, there you go. What is, what do we got going on now? I'm gonna start making the glaze. Okay. For my crispy skin. Two cups of sake. Sake. And, and the mirin you've got here, which is a, a rice cooking wine, rice correct? Rice wine, yeah. And I'm gonna get this going on okay. on the stove top, and then while we're waiting for this to reduce a little bit, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the fish going. I just like to tilt the pan; it avoids all the oil splashing on you too. Huh. So it's a good tip. I like that tip. I'm not gonna be flipping the, the fish at all, I'm just cooking it on one side. Just took off the sake and mirin, all the, the alcohol and everything is reduced down. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get the miso the miso paste in. More sugar. Sugar, sugar. Got, ooh, wow. That's gonna be some sweet stuff. Mm. So yeah, and then we're gonna deglaze it with uh, some shoyu to get the, some salt in there, mm -hmm. the salty factor. and. So that only took, you know, like, that 10 was, minutes or so. Quick, maybe under 10 minutes. Yeah, just to get get some of the alcohol to reduce. And you'll start seeing a little brown on the, along the edges down here. Mm -hmm. And then it's the perfect time to start glazing it. So okay. I'm gonna get some, some of that. And you leave the pan on a nice medium? Yes. So and you put that right into the pan. Let me just give this a little. Show you. Mix all that up. A little bit. And our butter. Just about three tablespoons. Mix that in. Oh, look at that. Nice. I'm gonna plate it all up now. What's going on, guys? Hey! Oh, Dad. Oh, What's going on, good. Dad? This good is the man. guy that taught you all the tricks, huh? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Dad, you wanna help me out with this? Good, yeah. I want some of that salad right in the middle, Dad. Get some of those tomatoes and those onions in there. Now you got the kid telling you what to do. What's going on, Ruben? <laughs> it feels good. Yeah? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah? I'm gonna pour a little bit more sauce on there. Oh, yeah. Get that from that pan, right? Oh. Oh, yeah. That's it. Look at that. Oh. Well, that's schmexy. It's uh, lemon, lemon olive oil. Oh, wow. This is uh, some gold right here. There you go, that's it guys. There you have it. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful, man. Okay, Ruben, what do you think? Uh, think we'll I'm leave him cooking, right, for the rest I'm, of it. I think I'm ready to try it. Let's try it out. Okay, you give it a, you give it a try first. Okay, good. Test out your kids cooking, right? Just dig in there. What do you think? Did you do it, right? Did you do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? 
Oh, I gotta get some of that skin, right? Right there. What was that? Coconut oil. What was that? Garlic oil. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That's unreal. There's so many flavors going on. And the, and the vinaigrette that you put in there, that popped with the added little bit of lemon olive oil. Yes, lemon olive oil. That's like a, a touch of, that's like a, you said, a touch of God like right the, there, right? They, the, they just banged it in. at the end, you know. I'm in a moment right now. Oh, are you, <laughs> you're having a moment. I'm having a moment. Pop right on in. Have a bite, that's girl. This is that's the uku that candy. Candy. That's candy. Mm. Yeah, that is, that is candy. What do you think of that? You're lucky. You're lucky. You get this guy cooking for you every day, <laughs> and then you got this guy cooking for you all the time. Who do you not have cooking for you? Come over here, real quick. You're the man. Thank you. This dish is crazy good. Look at the family, though. They're all like, "Hey, I want mine." <laughs> so we're gonna go and hang out with the family. Go sit down at the table. Make sure you make this dish, and we'll see you soon.